guys. For today's lesson, we're just going to do a quick review of how to do decimal forms, and then I'm going to give you an assignment in Kami, and it's just going to um, test your review and your knowledge on how to write decimals in different forms. So we're going to start off with, I'm going to write a decimal, and it's already going to be in word form. So for example, I'm going to write this decimal. Okay, we, so we say that two hundredths. We know it's talking about a decimal because we have the TH in the end, so we have two hundredths. The easiest way I know how to explain of how like you go from word form to decimal form is I like to write it as a fraction first. It seems to be easier to translate a fraction to a decimal. So I'm going to write two hundredths as a fraction. Okay, so this is much easier now for me to visually see how would I write two hundredths as a decimal. Well then, I would write that as 0 0.02. Again, the two is in the hundredths place because we have two hundredths. I'm going to give you a couple more examples. So if we read this out loud, this number, it would say six tenths. We're talking about a um, decimal, so I'm going to write it as a fraction first, so it will help me translate that to a decimal. So six tenths. Now I can see that and say, okay, I know how to write that as a decimal. I just want to make sure the number six is in the tenths place. Okay, so I would write a 0 0.6. Again, the 6 is in the tenths place. We could also do, write it this way. So 0 0.6, 0 0.60. Those are two, these are equivalent, they mean exactly the same thing. 6 tenths and 61 hundredths are equivalent decimals. One more example for this. Okay, this one's a little more challenging. So I'm going to read this out loud, 5 and 32 hundredths. So I know that I have a whole number and a decimal. I see the word and. I know that's where my decimal is going to go. So I'm going to still write this as a fraction. I'm going to write a whole number 5 and, and then I go to 32 hundredths. So I write 32 hundredths as a fraction. Now this is much easier for me to go ahead and convert that into a decimal form. So I write 5 and it's where my decimal 32 hundredths. So the last place value is the hundredths, so I say 32 hundredths. Okay, so that's how you would go from written form to decimal form. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give you in a decimal form and then I'm going to show you how you would convert that to expanded form. So if I give you the decimal, one second. This decimal, I know if I read that, it says 58 hundredths, but I'm going to write it in expanded form. So we have to think, we have to remember the place value of each digit. So I don't have anything in the ones place, so I'm going to go to my next place value, which is in the tenths. Well, there's five tenths, so I'm going to write that as 0 0.5. That's how we would write five tenths. To that, I'm going to go to my next place value, which is the hundredths. There's eight hundredths. So I write eight hundredths as the decimal. 0 0.08. So we see we have the decimal five tenths right here, plus eight hundredths, because the eight is in the hundredths place. So let's do a couple more examples. Okay. 
Okay, here I have this number. How I would say it is I would say three and 47 hundredths. But I want you to write it in expanded form. So I'm gonna start with my first number. I know the three is in the ones place. So I'm just gonna write it three times one is three, so it just stays a three. Then I put the plus sign. I go to my next digit that's in the tenths place. Well, there's four of them, so four tenths. How would you write four tenths as a decimal? It would be 0 0.4. Then my plus sign, I go to my hundredths. There's seven of them. So I'm going to write seven hundredths as, as a decimal, 0 0.07. Okay, one more for this. Okay, for this decimal, I would say this is 25 and 30 hundredths. I could also say this is 25 and 3 tenths. So both of those are easy to say, or that you could say them the same way. Again, I'm going to expand them by thinking the place value of each digit. We start with a 2. Now my 2 is in the 10 spot. So I have 2 tens, which is the same as 20. Then I'm going to go to my ones place value. There's five. Then I go to my tenths. I have three tenths, so I'm going to write three tenths as a decimal. And then I go to my hundredths. I don't have anything in the hundredths. Zero times anything is zero. It has no value, so I don't even have to represent it. So this is how you would write 25 and 30 hundredths in expanded form. Okay, one more, a uh, couple more ways I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a decimal, and then we're going to do the de take the decimals and we're going to write it in word form. The easiest way to go from decimal form to word form is just to say it out loud. We don't say 0 0.25. You have to think about that. What is this? Look at your last place value. It's the hundredths. So I would just say this number, 25 hundredths. I would write what I say. Pay attention when we're talking about decimals. Since it's hundredths, we have to put the THS at the end. Okay, don't write hundredths. A couple more of these. So I have this decimal. I would say this as four and fourteen hundredths. So make sure you know how to say it out loud first. That's going to help you write it because you're going to write exactly what you say. Four and fourteen hundredths. So anytime you write the word and, that's where because it, it means the decimal. Four and. Fourteen hundredths. Okay, one more for this. Okay, so I'm going to show you different ways. Sometimes, I, uh, maybe on your quiz or your assignment, I'm going to already have it in expanded form like this. So this is written in expanded form, and I am going to ask you maybe to write it in standard form. How would you write that as a standard decimal? Well, again, you just go back. This means 5 tenths, so I'm going to make sure that the 5 is in the tenths place. Okay, and then I know that this means 8 hundredths because the 8 is in the hundredths, so I'm just going to make sure my 8 is in the hundredths. So this is how you would write this expanded number, how you would write it in standard decimal number. Okay, I also might be able to show you pictures, and I want you to be able to tell me the pictures or what decimal these pictures or images stand for. So, for example, if I give you this, a picture like this, well, we know that there are, sorry, it's a little blurry, we know that this is a whole, right? And this is a 10 by 10 grid, so there's a hundred. There's a hundred pieces in the whole. 
Okay, so we're going to think about, well, how many pieces out of their whole are shaded? Well, we know that if you would count, we only have, we have 80. 80 that are shaded out of the whole. So this would be 80 hundredths. Okay, I'm going to ask you to write this. Excuse me, it's blurry. I'm going to ask you to write this as a decimal, 80 hundredths. So it would equal 0 0.80. Okay. All right. One more example. This one's a little smaller, so sorry about the size. But if I had an example like this, okay. It is the same as this. Imagine that this is the same size, okay. But instead of dividing the whole up into a hundred little separate pieces, we divided that the whole into ten pieces. So if you look up here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten columns. Okay. So here I have ten columns as well. Well, how many columns are shaded? There's three shaded. So I can write this as three tenths, which is equivalent to thirty. One hundredths. I would write that as a decimal, and then that would look like either that or so this means three tenths, thirty hundredths, and they're both equivalent. 